guys, Krista Jones here from Davey and Krista. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add social sharing buttons to your individual blog posts. There are lots of plugins that you can add to make sharing your posts easy, but if you're on Elementor, you can also build them into your site and save yourself the hassle of adding another plugin. So I'm going to come to a single post and I'm going to go to single post. And I'm going to come down to the bottom of my page and I'm going to add a new widget area. So I'll just do one of these for now. I'm going to drag in a heading. So something can be like share this post and for demo purposes, I'll make it smaller and put it down there. And I'm also going to add a lot more padding to this canvas just for now so that it's not too crowded probably actually wouldn't want quite that much. Next, I'm going to pull in social share. So we can add these share buttons right here. And there's a lot that you can do to them. So I'm going to center them. I'm going to add a little margin above them. So they're not maybe 10. So they're not so close. I could leave them as is, or I can play with making them just icons. Um, if there are different skins that you can play with. You could make them rounded or circles. You can change if they go to different pages or current page. Um, you could even change the colors. So if you want them to be the official colors, you could leave that. If you want it to be one of your brand colors, you could set it to be custom and then populate it one of your existing brand colors. Um, so there's a lot that you can do to really customize these to make them easy to see and make it easy to share your post. There are also different platforms that we could add to. So if we wanted to add Pinterest, um, looks like there are a ton of different ones. I've never even heard of some of these. Um, but if you wanted to add an option to print, you could do that. Print, you might need to add an icon for that. And I haven't played with everything, um, but there's a lot that you can do within the native widget so that you don't need to add another plugin to your site. So if you have questions or comments, drop them below and thanks for joining me.